Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you guys about male factor infertility. And so far, that is what we have basically been diagnosed with. They can't find anything wrong with me. And four years ago, Brandon was tested and they said he had low count and low motility. And they said it was still possible, so we didn't really worry much about it then. And now over the years, it's like, all right, let's do something about it. But I think part of me has kind of ignored it in a sense because, I don't know, I don't really want to make Brandon feel like it's his fault. I don't want him to feel any kind of guilt because I want a baby so bad. I don't want him to feel anything bad about it, you know? So I just kind of been praying and hoping that it would happen, which I know is a little naive when we've been trying for five years, but I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from with that. I just want to protect my husband from feeling sad or guilty of any way, so yeah. We've been talking about it recently and it's been more of a positive conversation than it was in the past, so that's good. He isn't the fondest of going to the doctor, but I mean, who is? But I think for the guy, what they have to do is a little bit uncomfortable but like I told Brandon I mean those people see that all day like not see that but they that happens every day at fertility clinics or at the doctor I mean they see it all at the doctor they're not in shock they're not making fun of anything because it's just their daily lives they see sick people they see healthy people they see people in their bodies <laughs> Every day, it's not out of the normal. But in the past, I have pushed and pressured and made it an uncomfortable conversation because of the pressure. And I don't wanna do that anymore. So we have found a healthy way to talk about it and figure things out. And I am less pushy and aggressive about <laughs> all of that. But yeah, at this point in our marriage and our TTC journey, we are ready to pursue things and push a little bit closer to that. Um, everyone's journey is so different and some people just jump into IUI and IVF like quick. Um, we have came through a lot of obstacles in between the first year and now of trying to conceive and it just hasn't been the right time to pursue IUI or IVF or anything of the sort because it just it just never was working for us, whether it was money or our relationship or just, it just, there's been a lot of different obstacles for us. And I feel like now we are in a healthy and happy state where we can push towards it. So that's what we're doing. But like I said before, he was tested and he was checked the first year of trying to conceive after, well, after one year of trying to conceive and now it's at five years. So I'm sure things have changed. Hopefully not gotten worse, but I mean, through God, anything can happen. So I'm not, I'm not like so stressed out about it. I mean, there are times where I'm like, what if it never works? What if we can never have like biological babies, which adoption is great. I'm not against adoption, but you know, you just kind of, I'm longing for that, our own baby. And until everything fails, then we will pursue adoption probably. And we haven't really fully talked about that and decided because we're not there yet. I've been told by a few people that this medicine called Geritol has been a miracle worker for some people, which I know we hear about all these things that work for people and they get pregnant because of it. Um, but everyone is so different. But, I mean, why not try it? It's like $20. And the joke, I guess, of the the whatever, Geritol, the medicine, is that there's a baby at every, the bottom of every bottle. And I mean, who knows? But I thought that was kind of cool and a funny little thing to say about it. But what it is, it's like a, a dietary supplement or like a vitamin. Um, it has lots of iron in it, which I believe is really, I think is really good for the male reproductive system. Um, I couldn't get that word out, but um, it has a lot of other vitamins in it, so I'm sure it's just a mixture of all the vitamins that are helping um, 
the cow and motility and all that and just increase his health, which in turn helps with fertility. But I mean, we're gonna try it, we're gonna buy it and see what it does. We're not going to the doctor right now because my insurance is, our insurance is changing through my work. Um, we just had a lot of changes with our benefits, so we have to approve a new plan and get the cards for that and just change everything. And I haven't really fully looked over it, but hopefully we get some really good benefits for fertility. Right now what we have, um, what I've read, is that it covers 50% of fertility stuff. So I'm not sure if that includes IVF or IUI or just like testing, things like that. But hopefully this insurance will be even better or the same or just a little bit cheaper with copays and stuff. But we're just kind of waiting for that to change over and maybe a few months after that we will go to the doctor and start up. But that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, I hope that we can do Clomid. Uh, my friend Anna from Anna Six Pets TTC, her husband has low count too, and he was taking it and it's improved it by a lot. So that is, I'm very hopeful about that. And hopefully when we get Brandon to the doctor and the urologist, we can get that sub subscribed, prescribed to him. <laughs> And he can take that because that would be, that's really all we need is for his count and motility to go up because they can't find anything wrong with my body. So that's kind of where we're at with trying to conceive. We struggle with male, infer male, infer male factor infertility. I can't talk today or this video. This is my third video filming today. Um, so hopefully we can get a hold of that and fix things. But right now, we are going to try that Geritol and see if it works. And if it doesn't, oh well, on to the next thing. If you guys have husbands who have low count and motility, please comment down below and just give me tips or ideas or things that you guys have tried. Or if you have beaten male infertility, male factor infertility, let me know. Just let me not feel alone in this side of our journey. I think that's it for this video. Thumbs up if you want to. <laughs> oh my God. Thumbs up this video for an update on our TTC journey and thumbs up for progress and thumbs up for soon going to the doctor and thumbs up for hopefully getting Colomid and thumbs up for hopefully doing an IUI sometime and comment down below. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.